Alrighty guys, today we're going to do a quick overview of my 2021 somewhat custom built Pivot Trail 429. I use the term custom built loosely as uh, this is mid project. This bike was bought during the pandemic, so parts are kind of few and far between. The specs on this are equivalent to the XC Race model, minus a couple of changes and a lot more in the future. I wanted a much higher end version, but this is all I could find. So starting up front, not really a modification or anything. I'm running Ibis branded bars because I prefer 31.8 and that's what I had. This is a cheap Amazon stem. Both of these will be changing. All right, bike almost fell over, but uh, yep. SLX four piston brakes, pivot branded grips, which are terrible. Uh, I did E-tape my cables together because they were rattling and it was bugging me. This is a Fox 34 Performance. I do plan on doing the grip to damper change at some point, or maybe a different suspension setup, I'm undecided. I have a uh, Project 321 hubs front and rear, and they are wrapped with Noble TR33 carbon rims. That is one of my favorite upgrades I've done so far. Well, one of the few only upgrades I've done so far. Adds a lot of stiffness to the bike, and I'm a bigger guy, so I benefit from that stiffness a lot. Um, I did shorten the stem, I guess that's the other thing I should say. Uh, came comes with a 45 mil stem that's a 35. I'm probably going to go to a 30. I like a really short, tight, and quick cockpit. I have a granite carbon water bottle cage. It's actually my first time using it. I just wanted a side loader cage that was 20 bucks, and it sold me on the carbon. So next up, I have a Fox Float DPS rear shock. This is a 120-130 travel bike. So far, no complaints actually. I've had a Fox, Fox DPS in the past and I couldn't stand it, but that was on a 150 travel bike a couple years ago. I'm getting along with this uh, really well actually. And I prefer the black over the Kashima, if I'm being honest. Up top here, I have an Ergon SM Enduro saddle, I believe. It's already ripping. It's less than a year old. Probably gonna get rid of that thing about swapping to the Specialized one. I'm gonna go get actually professionally fit. Underneath that, I have a 210 mil one up dropper and my Cobra Kyle sticker. For group set here, I guess, I'm gonna talk about, I do have an SLX shifter, which I came with the XT shifter, but SLX is what I got. SLX cassette, both of those will be getting swapped out and uh, XT rear derailleur also will be getting swapped out. Uh, don't know what chain it has on it. This is a race face ride crank set. I wish they wouldn't have spec this on here. It is one of the heaviest crank sets. And as you know, rotational weight matters. Lastly, I should bring up, I just have a recon in the back and a dissector up front. I kind of like this tire combo, but I plan on switching in the near future uh, they, are, they are a little bit heavy for my riding style. 90% of my time is XT with the odd enduro run here or there. Guess also to add, I run HT T1 pedals. I find these to be a lot less play than Shimano pedals. And I really like to be glued to my bike. I have a background in BMX, so just kind of like that. And I also broke three sets of Shimano pedals, so... Figured I'd try something new. Didn't like the crank feathers. I felt like I was always popping out of them. But yeah, if I had to give my uh, quick thoughts on the bike, I'm coming from a 2020 Rebel Rascal, uh, custom built, but that's a story for another day. Uh, this bike is a lot more sprightly, as in quick and stiff. The Rascal very much felt like an enduro bike, like it could just plow. And this, you have to pay attention. You have to be on top of your game if you're doing gnarlier runs. Very little flex on the frame. I get beat up quite a bit. That's why I'm changing the bars. I want something a little softer. I'm also changing the grips, trying to eat up some of that hand fatigue. But man, is this, this bike playful. If you really like to slam corners and really push into it, especially if you're a bigger guy, this thing is stiff. Climbs phenomenally, pedals awesome descends really well actually you just have to be smart about it that's it for my pivot trail 429 um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments if you want to see some build updates as i 
fully build out this bike to be very top of the line, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And uh, thanks for watching.